Hey YouTube, this is Dylan Hubby, and today we're going to be playing some Black Red Hollowed One with our new sets of modern decks. Trying out the stream recently. Pretty excited about this deck. I decided to choose this version because this is a version that 7 owed the Mox recently. And um, 7 owed or 7 won the Mox recently. And figured I would take this version. I like, um, I'm a pretty big fan of the version with Death Shadows because I like the card, but I, maybe this deck is also really good. So I want to give this, want to give this a try. Fiery Temper is a pretty cool card. I know this deck can be like super explosive. So pretty excited. It's got some hammers in the sideboard as well. Like, you know, two Blood Moons, two Ancient Grudges. I want to. I want to definitely BGH somewhat at some point in this video. I think that'll be pretty sweet. So, so yeah, we're gonna give this a whirl. Wake up this morning, and then get going with our day. Qualify for the box, which is pretty sweet. So I'll have to look up when the boxes are going. Let's go competitive modern details. I also want to like just cast some of those like random cards. You know, like the Burning Inquiries or the Goblin Lores or just like those explosive draw discard spells that are probably going to like combination tilt me but be also like a lot of fun. Because like if you have a bad hand, you never know. This could just like completely fix it or this thing right here could completely fix it. So, same thing with these cathartic readings, these faithless lootings, like, pretty excited. I'm pretty excited, so. Join match. I would like to play first. <coughs> okay. Yeah, so I think we just go Flame Blade Adept on one, and then Goblin Lore on two, and hope to keep our Hollowed one, because this the Hollowed one will be free. So I will keep this. This hand seems pretty good. Um, I don't think I want to fetch. I think I want like some numbers of land. I don't know how many lands this deck wants, which is what I, I guess would inform my decision whether I want to fetch or not. Let's make sure we're, yeah, we're recording. Noble Hierarch, okay. So one, two. All right, I guess I just goblin more. I think, because like I would have to hit. I could have faithless looting back the blood gas, but that's going to happen at some point. So let's go like this. We kept our hollowed one. So I will attack, and then we can cast hollow one. Then we just kind of like go nuts next turn. We can like just completely look through our entire hand. Though I might save these burning ones for like we might just flash. No, I might save these burning inquiries for when I have these flame blade adepts in play. Cause this represents four power. Dex explosive. We're gonna have nine power in play on turn two. Then like if our opponent somehow leaves the shields down, three, six, seven, eleven. Also select the green white value down deck. <laughs> So I might just play Flame Blade it up to pass. Or I might just like crash in with this hollowed one. 
Okay, so now I think I want to just like play Angler, play Flame Blade Adept, that's for combat. Just first, just crash him with his Hollowed One, then save these Burning Quarries to like have a real massive attack. Plus, they can just like trade with this and the voice lives, so. I'm not super excited about doing that. So we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is what we need, and we can leave the Faith of Sluting in my graveyard. My opponent's taking, I don't understand why they're, I don't know, my opponent's probably just multitasking. <clears throat> I do have a mountain in this deck, right? Let's just make sure that we have a basic to fetch. Okay, so I do have three mountains and two swamps. One stomping ground for my ancient grudge. So go get. Okay, well, we will bring this back. Oh, that's gonna mess up my math. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. No, it's not. I can just exile the faithless looting, which is probably okay. So let's get mountain. Nope, not that one. Flame Blade Adept. Yeah, I can just ditch the... Ditch the looting. Like, we're gonna... I think we're gonna put a lot... Put a hurt on our opponent this turn. We might not... The game might not last long enough to, like, utilize this looting. Though my opponent is clogging up the board. Alright, let's... Try this. This is gonna like force a company if my opponent has it. Mind sensor, okay. Okay, so madness. Let me think about this madness here. And then I don't have anything to do with this. Yeah, we draw a card. So what would I have hit with that? Probably would have hit like this mind sensor and then cast this again. So it's four, four here, then cast it again. So there are at least seven. So my opponent's gotta go like block, 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 block. And then yeah, my opponent was like super dead. So I think in this matchup, I want all of my removal. Just bring in everything that says, like, kill something. Um, What are some of my weaker cards? I think this card's probably weak. We're not necessarily looking to grind. Um, the Blood Ghasts are probably, like, kind of weak. Even though it is some good, like, late game inevitability. But my opponent might bring in, like, Surgical Extraction also. The Flame Wing Phoenixes are okay because they fly. I probably could cut like one angler because they might bring in some form of like Tormod script or something like that, especially if they're like a value town deck. But I would guess I would rather cut Bloodgast than Angler. Though Lightning Axe, Bloodgast is like kind of a combo, so maybe we'll leave like a couple in. Um Maybe go something like this. I just want all of my removal. I guess I need to take out five cards, and this would be five right here. I guess no, the uh, yeah, leaving in one blood gas seems kind of weird. So I guess I'll just leave the angler in, cut the call of a new world, and go like this. <clears throat> I really just want to BGH something. But I guess my opponent doesn't have a lot of things to BGH. Like, what do they have? They've got, like... Knight of the Reliquary. 
which we don't really have any other way to deal with Night of the Relic Workers when I'm playing like Fatal Push. So I guess I'd probably BGH to answer Knight is probably worth it. And it hits the second half of Voice, which should get pretty big. So yeah, we'll go like this. We'll try this out. Yeah, sounds good. We can bolt a bird into Goblin Lore Cathartic Reunion. Probably Cathartic Reunion. This goes gets black red. Hit that. It will pass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we hit a fetch land. Off of our faith of looting, we can angler, which is probably worth trying for. So let's try this out. Or if we have like a street wraith, we can angler. Quick match. Quick first match of the day, which is always nice. <sighs> so we didn't hit a fetch land, and we're kind of punished for this not having this fiery temper. But I think we can do probably a pretty easy ditch this. And then ditch this land. Because one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And then next turn, try to. Maybe I'll keep the land so that I can play Angler and Fiery Temper something. So maybe I'll just ditch like a goblin lore because we've got two of those effects. Play this. And then go like reunion, temper, angler. Leaving like some faithless lootings in the graveyard. This deck's cool. Hopefully my opponent plays like a knight here. Because they play a knight, then we're going to get to just pepperon out with this... Uh, Faithless looting. Alright, it's so another voice. Alright, so I'm gonna have to chew through that, which kinda sucks. Ooh, I can't goblin lore because I don't have mana to go like reunion. So I messed that up. So I guess I might as well just full retail angler, because I would assume my first one gets dealt with. leave one looting in the graveyard and then I can probably cathartic reunion if I hit a land especially I can cathartic reunion into fiery temper into angler again next turn I would assume this is going to get passed so so then my opponent can continue their beats now this is like the most obvious collected company I've ever seen in my life So Knight's going to be huge, but we can still eat it, and we can use this at instant speed. So I think I'm going to attack first, and then look to Cathartic after, probably ditching each of these, and then hopefully madnessing it. And then maybe if I find another thing to discard, then I can play this Hollowed one. Wow, do we not have a Cathartic here? Are we not going to get company? What is this shenanigans? Maybe he's waiting to end step it. So I guess I'm still going to go for it. I'm going to try to chew through these. Ditch this and this. Just slowly work through these voices. And if we hit a land, we can play Angler. If we hit a Street Wraith, we can play Hollowed One. We didn't hit either. This cost one, right? Okay. So we'll pass, and I can BGH something. 
next turn. It's kind of a miss there. My opponent's going to company here. They hit a big knight, but just a knight. So we're in okay shape. <clears throat> Probably just BGH the knight. Okay, these courts are quick they have a path on top. So that's, that's kind of annoying. They're shuffling away the path to exile. Okay. All right. So if I, I, I'd like to hit a land so that I can flash back this Faithless Looting and ditch, like... Ditch this and this, and then hopefully hit a street race to be able to go double hollowed one, and then get this Neither Reliquary off the board. So my opponent can crack me for 11, and I go with 6. I guess it's going to be more than that. Scavenging is okay. Still have to kill this. Oh, they're going to knight for a land to hit my looting. We have problems all over the place here. Okay, losing your own. We're still gonna just BGH this if we don't find anything to do. Get rid of this. And I'm gonna find I have to find an answer to the scavenging news, because the scavenging is just gonna mess my life up. At least they're not drawing anything. So attack, block here, two, four, six, eat two things, we're dead, so we can't attack. <coughs> okay, so they draw cards. So now they can go like excavate, they can start doing some excavator shenanigans, which doesn't really accomplish a lot at the moment, <coughs> but it does it is gonna like give them some value, I guess. So I guess I'll get this voice token off the table. Because we're gonna be able to play another angler. Alright, let's do that. Probably discarding both of these flame blade adepts. Ah, oh, that sucks that we didn't hit another way to cycle. But that's okay. So let's. My opponent's drawing another knight, which is going to be kind of an issue. So let's go like this. Keep looting. Bolt the ooze. Play a tap land, and then try to find an answer to this knight. Maybe I should have like Nihil Spellbomb on my sideboard. Am I like 75 after sideboarding? Maybe that's a good idea. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, a notification. My new Twitch notification there. Parenthesis. There's the knight. Oh, thank you very much for the support. Two months in a row, WK Baker. So now I just start like hard casting four fours. They have a company on top. I probably just maybe I have to flash back the looting. What am I drawing to to kill this knight? Just another big game hunter. No, oh, there's the big game hunter. So let's go. So I can go this, this. Now I'm going to go this land. Maybe I should have... No, that was stupid of me. I should have discarded the Cathartic Reunion because the only thing that I can discard are these hollowed ones and it doesn't do anything. So 2-4. I can't really attack because the Voice of Resurgence just kind of screws me. I wish I had a way to recur things from the graveyard. Like, that would be a nice addition to this deck, I think. So 
So maybe I'll, I think I need to I have a way to recur things. That's kind of something that I see. Maybe like a Liliana the Last Hope or two would be cool. Yeah, I definitely should have ditched this Cathartic Reunion. Played the stomping ground and just like hierarch. Eternal Witness is bad. Tireless Tracker. Fetch land on top. So much value. We're going to Value Town. I think I'm definitely gonna have my um definitely gonna get my whatever they are in play <clears throat> um for next game. Company again. Then the Eidolon's pretty annoying because we can only cast one spell a piece. So if I attack, they just block here. And then we unlock the voice. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna bring in some graveyard hate for games for game three. Because now, like, my only out to this is being able to recur this big game hunter. My opponent should be attacking with the boys. Because they either get him free two points of damage, or they, like, I, I eat it, and they get a voice token. And the voice token is much more relevant on this board than the bear. And then this tracker is going away with this game as well. Excuse me. Are they just going to cast this Noble Hierarch? Is there one spell? I guess they have Field of Ruin as well. I probably should just like concede. Yeah, we're good. We're good here. I can't. I can't beat this voice. I can't beat this voice token. All right. So let's think here. Flamewake Phoenixes are probably good. The Pyroclasm is pretty good as well. <clears throat> if my opponent's going to be on the scavenging use plan, I probably want to get rid of like one of these. I like my BGHs. I like all my removal. Maybe like board out a little bit of removal when I'm on the play, like cut a bolt. Maybe cut a temper because it like, it cut, you need a little bit of setup for it. And I'd like to just be able to nuke my opponent's graveyard. <clears throat> yeah, we'll keep this. We'll start off with a Flame Blade Adept, and then probably Burning Inquiry on two. Just look for some lands or something. Who knows? We might be able to just get super aggressive and like double Burning Inquiry on two, depending on what you know. <clears throat> the first one yields. Street Race. Cycle this. Yeah, we're just burning query. Hope we keep this blood game hunter. No, we didn't keep the big game hunter. And we didn't hit a land. So. And we just always yield this. So many triggers. No, we don't. We can't mana, so we don't have the mana. Dust on's kind of <clears throat> cool out of the value town deck. So now we just. Oh, okay, we have a flame appearance in our graveyard too. But we don't have anything to do with it. No. So crack in for five. Play a hollowed one. And then we'll have to see what I want to do next turn. Because like it might be worth just going to combat. Um <clears throat> and bringing back the flame white phoenix. Just to try to get under. <clears throat> I think this pyroclasm is gonna be good. I have I have a good feeling about this. Man, last night I worked, I got home at like four in the morning from work, had to do sampling in a government building at night, and I'm just, I'm exhausted. I can't sleep. Like, it's just impossible for me to sleep 
past like I slept till nine, which is pretty nice. And sleeping past that is just like super, super not a part of my code. Wow, does my opponent not have oh my god. This prior class is gonna be so good. God, draw a land. I've only got 18, so like that is a little difficult. And if I rip a land, I'm just gonna go for it. Get the three for probably end the game on the spot. The fun of <clears throat> right here, come on. <clears throat> All right, attack with both. We're not gonna bring this back. <clears throat> that should like at least put some warning signs up to my opponent, I think. Well, I guess it could just be like, but I, I would cast <clears throat> any sort of, uh, I guess, discard card um, before combat. I am kind of out of resources. So if my opponent paths, I guess we have the Burning Inquiry and Cathartic Reunion to follow up with, so like I'm not that far out of resources. I do like that I can Lightning Axe this thing. Which I'm just going to do. Like, cast, discard another card, target this. That could come back to bite me if my opponent plays a knight. But we're going to start chipping in the air. Crack in for five here. And then go to the skies. My opponent's drawing a ghost quarter. They've got GQ. And three unknowns. No. My opponent is dead if they can't present some sort of um, defense. I guess I should have discarded my cathartic reunion to the to the faithless to the lava axe, the lightning axe. I mean, so this is just the most obvious company I've ever seen. I guess that's interesting. So let's go like this. See if we can prompt my opponent before combat, but and I will bring this back. And I guess I should I guess I can attack with both because if my, if my opponent goes into a knight, then I can just shrink it. Double voice would be pretty annoying. Some way for them to kill my Flame Link Phoenix would probably not be annoying because there's no way. I don't think there's any two cards in their deck that can kill Flame Wake and can kill the Hollowed One with an empty graveyard. I think we're going to start the day too long. Okay. So, let my opponent block. And I only have, I guess I have two creatures in my graveyard, so my opponent technically can be, can like go eat, eat, trade. They can go eat, eat. They can go, they can eat everything. And then, uh, they can eat everything out of my graveyard and then have like larger than the hollowed one, which could be pretty annoying going forward. But the Scoos is gonna run out of run out of fuel soon, and this flame wake phoenix is gonna take us to the promised land. So is this flame is this burn is this Better as a random card. 
I lose out on like fiery temper, and if I hit another flame wake phoenix, so I think I'm gonna go like this. Because most cards are better in my graveyard than in my hand at the moment. We hit like the one card that's better in my graveyard, or in my hand, which is pretty sweet. So let's go attack for two. And then delve away. I guess I can fetch for black red. Tapped. Eat the street wraith. I guess there's not really a huge chance my opponent's got Tarmogoyfs, but and just smiling at graveyards, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just leave the looting. My opponent might not have time to deal with looting. So my opponent needs to present another blocker on the ground without like abyssing themselves. Okay. So I can attack through that. What could this be? Just an eat? So I guess I'll just attack with this. And then bolt my opponent. And I think we got him. Yep, there we go. 2-0 to start off. I like this deck. This deck is pretty sweet. I guess 1-0. That was our first match of the day. Hmm. Nine viewers, thanks everybody for showing up and hanging out. We've already got one subscriber today, so it's already been a good day. I hope everyone's having a fantastic start to their day. I guess I'll go up here. I left my, um, I left my cord back at the office so do my two screens right use on this one um if you guys are looking for magic online signals you should check out card hoarder the stream is bought to you by card hoarder they're the best bot chain in the business they do a lot for the community they're just great they'll buy your event tickets as well and so just a great setup um if you're looking if you're in the northern new york area gamer craze is where i learned to play gamer craze has really competitive rates on singles you can look them up on uh the internet they're working on getting their um store website up and if you ever want to check out part of the stream that you missed you can look up my youtube channel which is linked below and if you ever want to talk about modern or anything chat with me and we will connect with me on facebook i love talking magic or catch me on twitter or facebook or anywhere which you can find in my social section so back to the stream and i will keep this hand so i'm going to cycle this first because if I go this into Black Leaf Cliffs and still have the hollowed one in my hand, we're in good shape. I still think it's probably worth going for the hollowed one. Alright, we found the hollowed one. We have a so let's cast it. Turn one four four playing against storm, so we're gonna have to be on it. We're gonna have to go quick here. Okay, flame blade adept. I wish each of these were in my graveyard. So I guess I'll start by just attacking with this. For them, then next turn we ate them and then ate them. So we have them on a three turn. We have them on a two turn clock, which is pretty sweet. So we do. We we are gonna like make my opponent, you know, kind of turn three s, which this deck can for sure do if they kept. I guess they their hand's been kind of like messed with, so they might have kept like. But if they like they didn't keep a cantrip, unless this is an op at the end of the turn. So like I'm pretty sure we're gonna go lore or cost reducer and then we might have to just like cross our fingers 
Oh, that's the one that blocks my blocks my podcast. Play this. Get this guy into play, and then we just cross our fingers. We're gonna attack with blood ghast. Six gets in. Don't don't kill me, bro. I'm probably I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I'm gonna go get some coffee while I die. Ritual. Ritual into gifts. Which I don't think it matters if they have, especially if they have a land. I guess I'll just give them like get rid of and if split like this, just hope they don't have another land. And then toss all their rituals. They could even they could easily be playing. They can even Noxious Revival the Ritual back and then Metamorphose it into their hand, leaving them two mana. Which is probably the line that we've taken, which means that if they brick, they do need to they do need to uh, block with a brawl. Because of the revival. It's okay, so they get the ritual back. So it looks like mana is their chokehold. So we try to split this in a point, split this up into where mana is on one side. So Bass and Flames cost three. This goes up to two. Yeah, I think we just try to like chokehold their mana. Like it's probably not going to work. My opponent's gonna land, they've been sandbagging, and they just get us this entire time. Yeah, I wish they did. Because now this generates land. Here we go to three. But then I guess they're out if they passed in flames. So they need one more mana source. They need plus one mana somewhere. If they have another mana morphos or a ritual, then they're good. This pause seems good for the home team. Twelve years. Thanks for everybody for showing up and hanging out. I appreciate all your support. Okay, so then there's their mana for their past in flames. They're leaving up blue. I guess they they shouldn't leave up blue. Whatever they do. Wow, they conceded. I guess they only have. I can't believe they conceded because they could go like they could have red up and then go red red. Blue. Yeah, that was dumb. I was dead there. I was I was super dead. They just they must they must have like not seen the line. So against this deck, I want thought seizes. Flying over might see when I'll bring in the pyroclasm. Flying over will probably be relevant if my opponent sets up uh whatever it is. If my opponent sets up empty the warns. And then I probably just shave around the world here like blood gas just gets eaten um i think goblin lore is our worst discard outlet and then like keep all of my ferocious enablers and then we can get rid of this card this card seems like it's a grind card i think this seems good is it does the chat have any inputs this is my first time playing this deck got this from card hoarder last night was gonna I worked last night, so I was going to play a game or two with it just to kind of see what was going on. But I don't understand this fetch lane in this deck. So I get Bloodstained Mire because it's black and red. But this right here is just red. But I guess you can get Stomping Ground with it because it's red, so it doesn't matter. 
I don't want to load up too, too much on removal because sometimes they cut their, their cost reducers. But maybe they won't cut them that much. Maybe I want to go like this and then just ditch all of these blood guests. The blood gas seem kind of like gravy. Yeah, maybe we'll go like, we'll, we'll get five removal spells and three discard spells in our deck. Keep our deck, like, keep it small. We get Pyroclasm as well, which in a pinch can kill Electromancer. But they usually only play two or three Electromancers, it's usually four Brawls. I have to do, I have to like unload. I have to fix my moto. All right, we will ship this hand. We have the old no land heater, but I guess that'll happen when you play eighteen lands from time to time. Sounds good. We will put that on top. So this is a turn. I'm gonna flush blood crypt with this, then burning inquiry street wraith into burning inquiry. I guess I'm going to do it before fetching because I don't mind filling my hand with a land. But then again, I don't want to discard two lands. Just got that from my opponent. No tap island. And pay fall. Cycle this. Because I might just play the hollow one if I hit another street wraith. Okay. So this gets Blood Crypt. And then hope, just spin the wheel here. Hope we keep our hollowed one and like one angler. Okay, so we did that. And hopefully we hit a land next turn. If we hit a fetch land, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can't play. We can't play angler into angler, but we can definitely go like angler flame blade adept, which is pretty explosive. I might sandbag this street wraith for when my opponent plays a. Well, I'm definitely not. Sandbag in the street right now. So I think I'm just going to cast this. One, two, three. Nah, I'm going to attack. I might give my opponent the opportunity to do like a quick empty. I don't know if they play if empty is in this version. If they, I don't know if they would like empty after sideboard. I could easily die through like a pyroclasm here. But I do think that I want to get this uh, angler into play. And I'll probably just delve. I'll tap two and delve the full amount. And then just like tell my opponent to kill me. Or is that crazy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, fetch land. It's ten. Yeah, we're just we're gonna go for it. I'm not gonna play the flame blade adept because I, I would assume the flame blade adept. Like next turn, I'm definitely uh, whatever it is. I'm definitely um, definitely pyroclasming because I think I'm gonna give my opponent the opportunity to make a bunch of uh, goblins, and then we crack for nine, and then we kill them. Metamorphose. This might be famous last words. If I hit a fetch land, one, two, three, four, five. I guess I can't cast angler even if I hit a fetch land. This is interesting. I might, I might like eat my words here, but. But I'm a fan of leaving this around, I think. Four. So my opponent's gonna gifts. Oh no, they're just gonna they're gonna grape shot. 
where they have two grave shots. Oh, empty. Sweet. So now we get our cake and we eat it too. And then we can kill a blocker. My opponent would have to like go off again here. All right, so here's another, another duder. Wow. Good rips. Good rips, running hot this morning. Running hot. All right, let's jump back in here. It's better to be lucky than good, right? Hope everyone's having a good morning this morning. I'm starting to wake up a little bit, getting the coffee into me. Had a long, 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 long night. Just rough, rough times. I could be playing in the pre-release events today. I might play like a pre-release one later, but like there's no sense streaming it when you can just like watch Watch that other places. So, yeah, we'll keep this. Oh, it's 3 1. All right, so we're playing against Abzan. I have a sense that, like, this might be a halfway decent matchup because Bloodgast gives me like some inevitability over um over like lingering souls you know like i can just keep keep like keep it going all right we'll go like this just play this out and save our save our street rates I wonder if this is rock or if this is like Abzan. My opponent is three and one. They are playing for the profit. All right, I'm going to fetch basic swamp because I don't really want to draw any more lands. Always yield. Always yield. We drew more lands. Oh, that was. I guess I did the mountain last. I messed. I messed up my sequencing with my lands. Gosh, that was gross. Yeah, I, I super messed up my sequencing. And I'm gonna get punished for it. I could have a two-one in play. But at least these fetch lands are gonna like keep my hollowed one or keep my uh, blood gas going. Don't play Liliana. I guess Liliana isn't really doing anything against blood gas, which is sweet. I remember when I was playing, when I was playing a lot of Death Shadow, and that black white smallpox deck became good. I remember like that was one of the hardest matchups ever because they just played Lingering Souls and Blood gas. Oh, the scoos is pretty annoying. This will go like this. And then I guess discard two blood gas. Get one back. My opponent eats one of them. And then we just cast Hollowed One. Yeah, this scavenging is going to be a house.
And I had to throw one of them into the graveyard. I guess I'll leave up appearances here. Yeah, I had to leave one of them in the I would probably have to put one of them in the graveyard in order to get one into play. But this is definitely gonna get difficult. Time of life. The old time ago. Nasty, you're nasty. Because the way we fetched, we can't get this guy into play. So I'm gonna definitely delve away. Delve away my creatures. Yeah, just delve away everything. And then I can get in there with my with my uh, hollowed one because it's going to shrink his boyf and it's larger than use. This does almost turn on my um. I hope my opponent double locks. I'm going to take out the use if they do. And then the blood, blood gas, the blood gas are almost live. And if my opponent somehow goes like thought sees lingering souls, but I guess it's not even that great of a play. Probably turning both of these sideways next turn. It's probably not going to turn out well for me, but my best draws are like lightning bolt, fiery temper. Another Goyf for Flare. Okay. Basic Planes, which is suspect. I mean, I think we gotta cast it. Just give us three new looks. They blood gassed. Which means we can still crack in with both of these creatures. Oh, that sucks. So a creature hits the graveyard. I guess I should attack first and then. Yeah, I think I'm going to attack with Hollowed One. No, I'm going to attack with Angler. Because it's going to allow me to um, turn this Madness on. Okay, and then we'll get... The Goyf, I think. The Grim Flare is pretty scary. I guess we're just going to get Tom Goyf. Tom Goyf is huge. I turn on Delirium, which is. Get back an angler. Do we really want to hit a fetch land? Then we replay the angler. And again, we eat all of my creatures. So this scavenging use is tiny. Probably just eat all of my spells. I mean, my opponent's got delirium on their own, so. Then depending on what my opponent does, we can Faith of Sluting and get this Flame Wake Phoenix in the graveyard. Or I could just cast it also, which... Alright. It seems like we're going to try to win this game in the air.
Bing, bing. Now it's too much red mana. I think I'm just going to play Flamewick Phoenix and attack with it. Because there's no sense in getting in with... Because these two are holding back this Grim Flare especially. Like, the Tarmogoyf is going to be pretty annoying. But the Grim Flare is going to snowball advantage. I can't imagine. I think my opponent's probably got a bunch of Lilianas in their hand. Then I'll pass. Look to try to do something explosive with his Fiery Temper. Next turn. Alright, let's shrink their Goyf. Not going to block the Zeus. Also shrink their Flare. I don't think... I question whether that was a good play or not. Because now you're just so weak on the battlefield. I can't block the U's Because... Because no matter what, it's going to... What is this? Oh, Tireless Tracker? Well, that was some sequencing. At least now, I can bolt the tracker. My opponent's just going to eat this, which grows their thing. So maybe I just bolt this, attack, opponent eats, probably eats here to grow Tarmoroyf, and then take seven, goes to it's probably just land fiery temper. And I think I'm okay. I think I'm actually just going to ditch the Grim Flare because the tracker is like really slow and hopefully I can finish the game before the tracker gets me. And then I think while I've got, well, I don't know whether I should looting. I guess I could hit an angler. I've got more anglers and I've got more hollowed ones. So I guess it's just right to go like this. And then I play Bloodgast. Shit. So I attack. I still think a Bloodgast is doing anything. I'm going to keep a Lightning Bolt to take care of this tireless tracker. It is my point. This ooze is going to become a big problem, but I can take one shot from the ooze. Hopefully, I can set something up where I can kill my opponent in the crackback. And I do kind of tie my my opponent's man is tied up. Like if they're going to cast spells, they're not eating with their scavenging ooze. If they're going to crack clues, they're not eating with their scavenging ooze. They're pushing something. Push my fingers. Okay. So now they're going to go eat, eat at least. And if they just eat one thing, then I can not double bolt the scavenging news. Is this the better? No, it's just black, red, hollow one. I got that. I got the Mardu Pyromancer on my list. I'm going to get to it eventually. So maybe I just come in here, attack with this. I kind of just want to save this bolt to go upstairs. It does suck that I had to discard that bolt. And maybe I can kill them before this tireless tracker matters. Like, if my opponent gets aggressive at all, then this bolt, because they have a virtual five. So if this angler gets in, I'm in good shape. They can gain one life and go to six. How you doing, Noah? I can eat my looting, sure. I should help this flame wake Phoenix goes all the way, but then like a lingering souls is really bad. Crack 
crack clue. I guess I'm gonna bolt this. I should bolt this now, but I'll wait. I think I, I think this bolt's going upstairs. Just playing some hollow one man. I like this deck. Oh, it's got four spells, which is sweet. Okay. Street Wraith will be good. Land is not good. So my opponent takes four, probably blocks, blocks, takes four, and then I die on the crackback, so I can't attack. But I can, like, alpha my opponent next turn. Without the discard creature. It is. It, they have the discard creature. There's no death shadow. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, so now we gotta take care of this tireless tracker. Because this, this game goes much longer. It's not in play, right? This is a Flame Wake Phoenix. I will use Path's ability. This deck has such a problem with scavenging news. Like both of my games, I've lost, I guess I've lost one game. I want this one. I've lost one game since I started playing this deck and that game was two scavenging news. This is a Liliana, I'll just sack my ooze. It's a Lingering Souls, that's pretty bad. At least I can attack with my Bloodgast. Because this fetch land's gonna give me some play. Yeah, I just I can't get over this ooze. Let's pass. Yeah, we're just dead, because my phone's gonna flash back like green souls. Yeah. Oh, I think you mean the hollow one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the hollow one right here. I thought you were talking about the flame blade adept. Alright, so we just need more ways to kill scavengers. Spiral Clasm is probably fine. Ways to mess with my opponent's graveyard is probably fine. Blood Moon's probably fine as well. Wow, I have a lot going on. So what's not good? I don't know what's like, I don't know how to sideboard with this deck. So I'm gonna cut some anglers because I'd assume my opponent's gonna bring in some graveyard hate. So I probably can cut like one flame wake phoenix. Probably can cut one blood gas. Probably can just like shave across the board a little bit. I think goblin lore is like my worst one of these. Maybe I don't necessarily want all of these cards here. Probably can shave a hollow one if I'm going to cut, like, a couple of these. Maybe I don't want all these spell bombs. Pyroclasm is probably not that great. Then I probably can just shave a Street Wraith. Just kind of, like, I guess I dilute my deck a little bit, but I bring in, like, I want each one of these cards. Because this kills, like, a big Tarmogoyf. This kills a big scavenging ooze. This kills a big tarmac for big scavenging ooze. And when big game hunter. And it kills Grim Flare. Spell bomb's just like good against their deck. Kind of like shrinking Grim Flare, can tripping, and then the moon's good. I assume my opponent's gonna bring in graveyard hate. I think this is what we're gonna go for. I I don't know. Like I really don't know, so this is kinda why I'm but I could see maybe boarding out a land. Because, like, if we flood, we're going to die. Maybe I'll board out a land on the draw. I would like to play first. I'll keep this hand. Put a against the five.
I think we're just going to go like this. I don't know if I'm going to cathartic on two. Because I have nothing in play. I guess I really want to find a, ba a basic swamp. So I guess I can go like reunion. Oh, let me go. I guess I'll street rate the start. I should I sequence it poorly. Now I think I'm just gonna go like this. So am I slamming the blood moon next turn? If I'm slamming the blood moon, then I should search for a basic swamp. Don't want this land. You probably don't want this second cathartic. I just want like a fetch land or a basic. Okay, we didn't find it. Let's pass, hold on to this street race. So here comes Grimflare. If we do, if we do draw Grimflare, I'm likely to looting into Fiery Temper. God. Jeez. Yeah, this Blood Moon is not looking great for the home team. I do really want to slam it because my opponent's on a mulligan. We're going to get like a two for one here. And so I really, I really want to find it next turn, especially considering like I can cathartic into some... Uh, Surgical Bloodgast. Okay. So I probably going to see the moon, which takes a little bit of it, the sting out of it. And then I'm going to fetch Basic Mountain, save myself the life points, and then play Flame Blade Adapt. But we're okay with this. This is, you know, a good exchange for the home team. Now that we know my opponent's sideboarding like the, in such a way, we probably should. We can easily, like, mitigate it a little bit more by just shaving. So how's the chat doing today? How's everybody's how's everybody's day going? It's not like this fiery temper gives her opponent delirium, right? I guess I could have played land and then done like fiery temper, fiery temper, but that seems kind of weak. I'd much rather like play flame blade adept and then be a little fiery temper or Liliana if they edict it. Uh, I don't think so, the judgey. It, it's on the deck list there. I just grabbed a list that did well in the mocks. And then ran with it. I think this deck's cool. So decided to decided to go with it. So we're kind of worried about like Tarmogoyf. Got iced in. Where you get iced in at? All right, I'm going to attack, fetch my mountain, fetch my swamp, play moon, play flame blade adept, then just hope my opponent doesn't have a decay. The extractions seem like slight overboarding from my opponent. Kansas. Way down in Kansas. We're going to have a pretty sick turn next turn. As long as my opponent doesn't damnation me. So they're going to decay this. We're back in our main phase. Play this. As long as we all get pulse, yeah, I will use this. So I'm just gonna get myself another swap. Let's 
So we have a really good turn next turn, I think. We can go like, at least bolt my opponent. If this is a Goyf, that's kind of annoying. I guess they don't have Delirium, so it's whatever. I think I'm going to discard this spell bomb. Always know this. Hit this. This deck's insane when it works out. Now we want to find Hollowed One or Angler. Punish for not leaving a double red, but we couldn't leave a double red, I guess. Now I'm just going to attack and then play another Adept. And then next turn, we should be able to get pretty explosive. Because next turn, I can play and flashback Faithless Looting. So next turn, I can attack for 10. What is this? So I do get to eat a fair amount of my graveyard. Which is going to be pretty unfortunate if we draw a Delph card. Opponent still doesn't have Delirium. Alright, that's going to be a good one. But we're going to start off like this. So. 1, 2. 2. 3. 6, 14. Yeah, we're going for it. No! Oh, I clicked through. That's frustrating. Alright, well. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, I guess I'll wait. There's no need to, like... Because I think my opponent was dead if I hadn't clicked through there. But I don't want to go for it at the moment. We're going to wait. Listen, my opponent's got a damnation that's going to blow, which is, looks like that's what this is. But I get to... Oh, Seed Rhino. I think I can beat Seed Rhino. Yes, sir. So, flash this back. Ditch. Ditch this. This. Let's not move too fast. Bring back Street Wraith. Yeah, my opponent's dead. Still dead, though. Cycle. Yeah, we still got him. Yeah. Yep, the old Moto struggle. I'll probably restart my computer after this match. This deck's cool. So, post bringing Spell Bomb. So, I probably want. Don't want to change anything. Probably just. I don't really want to change anything. Maybe just cut these blood gas because they just get brick walled so easily by like Tomagoyfs. Maybe I just want to interact here. I just cut another blood gas. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of all of them. Screw blood gas. And then I'll bring in. Another street race. I'm gonna refill my coffee. What do you mean, alchemist, judgy? going on with this like
Mm. All right, sounds pretty good. I mean, it's like, it's very thought sees proof my opponent kept those in. It's pretty threat light, but we're going to see a million cards. Yeah, I definitely need to restart Moto. So this gets black red, this gets black. Then I'd probably start off with Faithless Looting next turn. And then maybe into Burning Inquiry. Do we get our Hallowed one in play? That's pretty good for the home teams. Let's start off here. Oh no, wrong, wrong, wrong. One mana. Go nuts. Oh, I ditched my Hollow one. God. Ugh. That sucks. Just the wrong one there. And you'll do that whenever you play a new deck. Like, you'll just think that, oh, all these do the same. That's pretty good. And it turns out they don't all do the same thing. So we crack in for five. I would assume this dies. I would have a, oh, it's not going to die. Okay. I'm still going to fetch basic basic swap. Hopefully we get to just murk a BG. Hopefully, we, oh, I need to go grab it. I made a mess of my coffee. My copete. I think my ultimate sponsorship goal is to get the stream sponsored by like Green Mountain Coffee, or something like that. So what can my opponent have? My opponent could have like a Liliana and the Veil. But I, I wonder if they would keep Veils in. Maybe... Insert Seinfeld music. I really don't want... I really want to hold on to this BGH until I can get something out of it. At least I'm telling, like I'm kind of, I'm handcuffing my opponent a little bit here because I'm just telegraphing, um, uh, telegraphing Blood Moon, so they can't really commit. I guess we just ditch this and this. Draw three cards. That's pretty good. So I'm definitely gonna play this spell bomb out. And hopefully I get to BGH. Yeah, this has gotta die, right? Yeah. Alright, gonna fetch another basic swamp. And then just play out this spell bomb. Really hoping our opponent plays a threat here. So that we can just get some get some of that good good off of um cathartic reunion. It'd be sweet if they went like flare goif. Cause then we can just I guess the flare doesn't have delirium yet, so we can bolt the flare and BGH the Tarmogoyf. Oh that sucks. That's okay though, we can still like Cathartic. We still have the flashback on Faithless Looting. My opponent might just take the BGH here. Which, yeah, they did. Something that I wish this deck had... I wish this deck had some form of recursion for Big Game Hunter, but maybe that's just like not what it's supposed to be doing. The big man. The man, the myth, the legend. One, two, three, four. Um, 
I don't have enough red sources to go like, because I can get that next turn. I guess I'll flash back this looting before my opponent mercs my graveyard. Ditch, Blood Moon. I might drag the deck if I did, yeah. Uh, ditch. I don't really want Ditch Moon because that makes Goyf huge. But it's already a two turn clock. So maybe I have to go like Moon. I'm going to go Moon Adept. Pass. Maybe I rip like another, like black, like if I hit rip red source, it smells like a play and flashback of the old lingering souls here. If I hit a red source, then I can uh, take out both of these while shrinking the Tarmogoyf here. I guess, do I have six card types? One, two, three, four, Five, they have six. Oh, another Dorf. That's that's probably game over. Jeez. Opponent, why do you gotta do that to me? So one, two, three, four. There's still four fives if I shrink their graveyard. So I guess we'll start off. We'll start off like this. I don't think. Yeah, opponent's got it. We can't deal with the Goyce. I think that this deck needs like a fatal push. Hey, Archmage, how you doing? I think I need. I think this deck wants Fatal Push in its sideboard because you just like, unless you have your own Death Shadows. Like, because there are versions of this deck that plays Death Shadow. Oh, got ourselves a Streamlabs alert. PT PHT PH Testin. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate your support. Um, actually, no. I was gonna restart Moto. So let's go with this. Toss this up here. Restart Moto. I would like to log off. We've become the enemy. We haven't become anything. We're playing. We're just. We're just giving everything a whirl this week. I don't have anything to push or inquisition. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah, you guys. If you need any uh, on, if you need any signals, you check out Card Order. They're the best bot chain in the business. They have a great podcast. They've got um. You know, they'll, they'll take your tickets for money. I actually cashed out some tickets today. So that's an option. Gamer Craze up in uh, Canton, New York. If you're up there, you should check out that store. It's a great community. They have really competitive singles prices. If you ever want to check out any of the archives of the stream, you can look at my YouTube channel. I'm about 60% of the way to getting monetized, which is one of my goals for 2018. So help me get monetized. I got all kinds of archives deck up there. And if you ever want to talk magic, please connect with me on social media. I tweet a lot and I always answer, you know, tweets that people have. Yeah, the I think I think we definitely want Fatal Push in this deck cuz like Tarmogoyf's huge. We can't kill a Death Shadow. I think you need Fatal Push or you have to play the version with Death Shadow. Moto's just loading up. Once Moto's good, we'll switch it back to the game. Yeah, there we go. Let's get back. I guess I could have just got an open league there. We can still win two in a row. Get our get our four one going on. Yeah, fourteen viewers. I hope everyone's having a great day. I might play this deck. I think I'm gonna have time for a second a second league. So I think I'm either going to play this Hollowed One deck again, or I'll play something like Mardu Pyromancer, or um, Black 
I can play Black Green Rock. Or like a Titan Shift deck. Or no, Black or Dredge. I'll play like Mardu Pyro, Black Green Rock, or Dredge. Or maybe I'll just jump into like the I, I think I think the limited cubes are going today. I don't know. Alright. So this hand's pretty mediocre. I think I can do better. I think I can do better with a random six. Just not no way to fill the graveyard up. Yeah, this hand's much better. Uh Faithless Looting. Faith of Sluting gives us some selection, but it's kind of redundant with the Goblin Wars. So I think we're up at this little bottom. We just want like a threat at this point. Everyone coming over from O Scholar stream, thank you very much. I hope his stream went well. And I hope you're all having a good day. Playing its affinity. Okay. I don't know how good this deck is. I guess there's three ancient grudges in the sideboard, so. You know, we've got game. My opponent kept seven. I think I'm just going to snap off this burning inquiry. We're just going to, like, hopefully nab some of their payoffs. Oh, man, we hit three lands. Hopefully they're their own lands. Um, there's nothing. I guess we can sh cycle Street Wraith into Hollow One. Hollow One. We have my own artifact, man. Hollowed one. Hollowed one. Come on. Right here. Right here. Show me the money. Might play some dredge. Yep. Been meaning to get around to that deck. I don't really feel like playing Death Shadow. That's my that's my deck, but. You know, I kind of want to... My, my YouTube channel, I think over half of my YouTube channel is Death Shadow. I'd like to get some more decks going on. I have a lot of opinion about modern decks, and I probably should at least give more of them a try. I'd like to try Benjamin Nikolic's Jeskai deck, but that deck that deck's a bit outside of my um, rent range. So if I put a play something, I think I'm just going to bolt it and then Burning Inquiry. Box turn on. Ravager. Okay. I play Jund Shadow. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna kill this signal pest. Even though I mean this this card's not super great. Get this thing out of the way. We, we, we can get our... We can, we can deal with this thing, I think. We've got creatures that are large than that. We just don't want this thing cracking us in the air. And if I bolt this, they just go like, sack, sack, sack. Another reason why maybe this deck wants Fatal Push. Alright, so we got Nasty Gear Masty for next turn. They ditched in Soul Artifact and another Arcbound Ravager, which is, are good hits. I do like playing Grixis though. I, I have plenty of Grixis videos on my uh, on my YouTube channel as well. Ooh, cranial plating. Humph. That's eight. One, two, three, four. So if even my opponent's one, two, three, four, five, six. So if my opponent sacks everything to this Ravager, it still survives my Angler. So I need to I need to find two I need to find two bodies here. All right, these don't do anything. Play nasty, you're nasty. <laughs> you are the round ace, Nate. The judgey, thank you very much for following. Hey, Snake, if you're willing to do that, you should send me a message and we should just connect. You're, you're here from time to time, and I don't think I'll do it today, but it is something that's worth, you know, learning about. You should send me, like, a buddy invite on Moto as well. Because you're here from time to time. You, you, you're, 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 one of them, you're one of them sweet stream supporters. Actually, I'm going to go... Hang on, let's do this first.
kill. All right, so we don't need these. We don't need this. Oh, that's a cute emote. Corgi dirt. My brother loves corgis. Um, stitch some. I guess it's pretty redundant at this point. It's not like we're getting rid of faithless fittings. No. So we just chump this. I'm one of those. They sack everything to this, but then like we still can't even get over it. Yeah, this deck needs. I really think this deck needs fatal push. Now they can just move everything over the signal pest. Good work from now, peace. Take it easy, Judgy. They might just let this go also. Yeah. Which is a little risky. I think I would have fought to keep the um to keep the guy around. So now if we hit a land. One more look. Yeah, we're gonna get Gal blasted, which is okay. I mean, we had to do it there, so let's see what we would hit. We'd hit a hollow one, which would be better. Okay. So in this matchup, I think I just want all of my removal. Um, we probably cut street rates. We're cutting street rates. We can probably cut some number of hollow ones. Um. I wonder if BGH is worth it. Probably not. Probably just cut. Probably just go like this. The blood gas don't do anything. I want to keep hollow one over a blood gas. Uh, thought seize is probably worth it as well because like you can thought seize like um, a payoff card. Yeah, we're gonna go like this. The 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 blood gas just don't do anything. The BGH has seemed pretty narrow as well. You're only going to hit something where if a uh, Ravager, or not a Ravager, if a uh, Steel Overseer has gone nuts, or if, you know, uh, Arcbound Ravager is big. Which you might be able to hit, like, it might be good to hit, like, an Arcbound Ravager after, um, or after it's moved over, I mean, I guess, like, after the Arcbound Ravager's died hit the creature it's moved over to, but it seems pretty narrow. I will lead off. Yeah, we got ourselves a here. So I think I'm going to fetch a basic with this. Protect my life a little bit. And then I wonder if I can play an angler next turn. I'd love to play an angler without getting rid of this flame like phoenix. We'll ditch both of these. I want to get to this. So probably Burning Inquiry next turn. I really would like to keep these Phoenixes in my graveyard. Where they belong. We got, we got, we got an Ornithopter. We got a Zero Air. Alright, I guess now I can take a look and then inform my decision about if I want a burning inquiry. Like, if my opponent's hand's that sick, then I'll just try to, like, get rid of it. Gal Blast, Gal Blast, rip. So my opponent's hand's not that sick, so we're going to leave them with it. And then we're going to try to bolt something. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, play an angler next turn before we burning inquiry. So we're, trying to, we're, gonna bolt, we're gonna bolt whatever our opponent gives us an opportunity to bolt. Spring so that's what they drew. So here comes the Vault Scourge. This is turned on, so they don't take any life. We do need to be wary of our life level because we're at a virtual eight. Why don't you just use them opal, dude? I guess they want to be able to Galv Blast me or Galv Blast like a nasty girl nasty. But I'll trade, I'll trade Angler for two of these, especially because they have to do it on their turn. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna play the angle. I'm gonna play the flame blade up as well, and I'll delve the faithless looting. This burning inquiry should find me enough gas. Or alternatively, I guess I can. I guess I can ditch the flame wake phoenixes. I probably can ditch one phoenix because there's a pretty good chance that this angler dies. Or I can just get the phoenix back and attack instead of playing the adept. Now, yeah, I'm going to force my opponent to spend the rest of their turn getting this angler off the battlefield. Yes. No. I played with this card in standard for a little bit. So now they're either getting cracked for four. So. Ooh, they're just going upstairs. Okay. That's bold. I think. I think that's a very... Edge champion, come on. All right. Well, at least we're going to be able to... Okay, so we're not casting that ever. We're not attacking with Angler. Crack for four. We're winning this race. I'm going to play Flame Blade Adept because it's just going to make our Burning Inquiry better. And hopefully... Hopefully we get to crack for some damage next turn, or we at least make my opponent not, or make my opponent galvanic blast a creature. We don't want to get galvanic blasted because we go to six, then we die to like one, two, three. We die to a cranial plating now, and we die to a ravager. But anything else besides that, or we die to third gal blast, which seems pretty. That's rough, too. Okay, they're going to attack. I guess this makes it so both of these are lethal next turn. So we need to do some shit with this Flame Blade Adept here. Three, four, eight... Yeah, we gotta go this first, because I need to go three more. So discard three, so this is four, eight. I need to hit like another one of I need to, I need to hit like the cathar I need to keep the cathartic reunion and hit a street race, and then I got then I'm good. And that didn't happen. Which is very sad. And now we're just now we're just dead, I think. Because this block's here. Even if we blow this up, they have metal craft and they get him for four points of damage next turn. Man. So close. But yet so far. Yep, they got it. Yeah, so we needed to keep that Cathartic Reunion. So let's say we kept that Cathartic Reunion. We ditch these two cards and we draw three. One, two, three. Yeah, we would have missed anyways. Then we had to hit Wraith. All right, playing for the three-two. Playing for the Pity Chest. So how's the chat's day going? How's, how's everybody, how's everyone's life? I was working until 3.30 a.m. yesterday. So like, I'm pretty tired. And I can't, I can't like, it sucks that I can't sleep. I guess I should check my email, see if somebody got a hold of me. Here. 
and I have to do it again tonight, so I don't think I'm going to go to work here. Check my work email, get this stuff out of here. Yeah, what's so what's the chats uh what's the chats doing? You're just waking up? Oh I got my exchange here. Okay. So we're good for work. You're existing, you know that's good. It's good. Everyone likes uh everyone likes existing. So this is a guy this guy plays Storm. So we can keep this. At least this guy plays Storm when he's playing legit. I don't know what he's doing now. Put his tank on it. We beat Storm earlier. But we had a pretty timely pyrophyzing. One, two, three, four. So we need to we need to hit a street wraith in order to play angler next turn. That didn't happen. Yeah, we will bring this thing back. Go again. Okay. Just because we could have hit hollowed one. The Dark Horse, how you doing? Oh, opponent's got nothing. So I'm going to play Angler and Flame Blade Adept, and then not cast, um, and then not cast the Burning Free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try to preserve my life total a little bit. Keep my graveyard as full as possible so that we can continue these shenanigans. One, two, three, four, five. Leave the Street Wraith because I could draw that Madness card. Oh, they're going to remand this. That's gross. Oh, I zoned out there. What is this guy's hand like? I don't know, Dark Horse. I am unaware. I would assume it's pretty good if they kept seven without a cost reducer. I like this grape shot. Grape shot target and flame that. That's weird. All right, so I think what we're gonna do, yeah, we can just. Get a mountain. Flashback looting. Discard. Looting. Discard this. And I've already played a land. So I just attack for five. Cast hollowed one. Now we could die here, for sure, but like we're 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 on like the effort train, and if my opponent, if my opponent like okay, so now we're in good. I think we can win. Well, all right, so we'll start with that. Ooh, that sucks. Hang on. Flashback looting, hit a land, bolt my opponent. So flashback looting three, five, nine. Yes, yeah, so we gotta go flashback looting to start. My opponent remands as they remand it, but that means they're not gifting at least. We should be able to put them into a position where they can't gifts, where they have to interact with the board. 
which should be good for the home team. Because right now, even if, if we get to do this, yeah, so it looks like they're going to... I would say this means they're interacting with the board, which is good. It's three, seven, nine. Okay, so they're just dead now. So they have to interact. They have to interact with the board. Hey, it must be all rituals. Yes, I would say so. Ditch looting, ditch angler. So seven nine. And then we're gonna pass, try to find a opportune time to bolt my opponent. I'm gonna see what they get for a gifts pile, then bolt them. But it's not like they can get a mental misstep or a packed negation. You cry every time this deck wins. Okay, so Brave Shot, Ritual. Draw a card, okay. All right, Um. so I want my Spell Bombs. I want my Thought Seizes. I want my Pyroclasms. Um, Blood Gas is pretty embarrassing against the Empty Clan, which they're gonna have Fiery Tempers good. So let's get rid of these. Um, my opponent's going to have cards like, I'm going to cut an Angler because it's not very good against Remand. Um, I don't want to bring in too much removal because I need to keep my deck going. I probably can cut Fiery Tempers because it's going to be hard to set that up. So may, I think I probably want Lava Axe instead of Fiery Temper. This Call of the Netherworld's probably shenanigans. And cut a random card. It's going to be a little harder. Like the game's not going to go as long. It's going to be a little harder for me to Ferocious. So I think I'm going to cut a Flame. No, Flame Wake Phoenix can attack over Empty the Warrens. Um, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six removal spells. I guess Goblin Lore is my worst, like, looter effect, so I'll get rid of that. You cry every time. You don't like this deck? I think this deck's cool. I've had a good time playing it today. I will keep my hand. Then we top bottom, it's fair. Start off by looting. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Cycle this because we can hit a hollowed one. We didn't hit a hollowed one. Slide of hand. Okay. I might play this deck for another league after this. I don't know. Kill me. Oh, I should have discarded my Flame Wick Phoenix. That was a mistake. Eat both my lootings. I guess I could have fetched there to add one more card. Yeah, that was, uh, that was sloppy. A very sloppy by me. Sloppy Magic the Gathering. I gotta think about what I want to play next. Let me see if I can. I don't have a deck ready, so it might take me a second. I 
I'm probably going to run this deck through another league if I play one more because it's going to take like a while for me to trade the deck back. It's going to take a while for me to um, get cards and such. So I just don't think it's worth it. I'll just play if I want. I am, I am enjoying this deck. Might make some tweaks. Might add like a fatal push to the sideboard. I definitely think that you want... Um, I definitely think you want a fatal push here. Because, like, I've been... I've struggled against Tarmogoyfs and Death Shadows. No, I've struggled against Tarmogoyfs. And it's fatal push is basically... It's better than... I guess fatal push is better... Probably overall better than Lightning Axe against um, Affinity, but I'm not exactly sure. Dude, your emote ace is a roan. No, pump does nothing. Okay. Interesting. I almost don't want to play anything because that's going to give my opponent the chance to. So he's just going to Giga Drowse each one of these. Which is all right. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go like this. Hold up Lightning Axe. I'm just going to keep up the interaction. Because I can go Lightning Axe, Ditch, Flame Wake Phoenix, then bring back both Flame Wake Phoenixes. Is my opponent just digging here? I had never played Hearthstone there. Um, OC, o, OC Tosin. So, you know... I think Magic the Gathering. Magic Gathering is the best game I've ever played. <clears throat> My opponent mini empties here. I'm more than likely just killing an empty the Warrens token and discarding this Flame Wake Phoenix. And then just yeah, it looks like that's exactly what's happening. And then just trying to race it, I think. Which, the odds of that working is probably like 2%, but it is the world we live in. Alright, I am going to fetch. So that my, my opponent doesn't have the opportunity to put another spell on the stack while I fetch here. And I would assume this is just land empty. Yeah, so it's 14. A lot of goblins. So now we're just digging into our pyroclasm. So how do I win? I attack, play two Flame Blade Adapts, 14. Draw like, opponent hits me for 14. Draw like Burning Inquiry. Alternatively, I can attack for nine. Then I still need to get one more point of damage through. None have succeeded. I think mana is like, it just adds another deck building restraint that's kind of interesting. So I think we're pretty much dead, but I think I've got my most chance at playing double Flame Blade Adept and attacking for five, and then bringing the Flame Wake Phoenixes, like hitting whatever, something here that draws me a bunch of cards. So I think my best line of attack... No, we're not going to bring these back, because I need to set these up for next turn. And if my opponent wants to block with five, like I'm cool with it. Uh, long name word system, thank you very much. How are you doing today? Appreciate you seeing, checking in.
17 viewers, we're climbing up there. I hope everyone's having a great day. Playing some modern. Playing Black Red Hollow 1. Probably going to run it back. Opponent blocks, which is interesting. I mean, I guess it's similar. Like, we're going to eat two here. Then I can go, like, discard Hollow 1. Cycle. We might have to hit some, like, just absolutely insane hits off the top here. I've never played. I've never. I've never played uh, Eternals. Eternal at all. I hear it is a very good game, though. LSV plays in the game. So that's step one. I have to, to draw and keep Pyroclasm. MTG artwork is beautiful. Like. I love one of my some of my favorite artwork is I love Lorwyn Thought Seasons. I love Magic Lands. Magic Lands are really, really good. Well burning includes clear the sign of MTG. <laughs> yeah. Bolt my face, sure. LSV makes games who's a little biased. LSV biased? No. Opponent's got 8, 11 of these, so we're just going to attack and for some reason hope my opponent loses their mind. There's only 15 anyways, so there's literally nothing my opponent can do. Yeah. Let's see game. Draw a card. Okay, so we're on the play this time, which is sweet. And I think we're going to keep it the same. Water make yeah, Burning Inquiry is sweet. <sighs> Mardu Pyro, Dread. I guess I can get Archmage, if you're in the chat, you should make a you should make a straw poll between Dredge, Mardu Pyromancer, and this deck. I am going to keep. That would be great if you could do that. Yeah, exactly. So we're cracking for four here on two, which is sweet. Might be even more. Hopefully my opponent just doesn't bolt this thing. Don't bolt this thing. Don't do that to me. Okay, we're not getting bolted, which is sweet. I'm going to fetch a basic here just to kind of like probably go get basic swamp. And then ditch both of these two lands to keep this one. Just put more cards in the graveyard. I made a mistake with that earlier where I made, did some poor sequencing. Faithless Looting is interesting. Probably a good one for next turn. Eight Rakdos. Uh, always yield. And, uh, I think you need to put parameters, my friend. Crack my opponent four, then we kind of do the same thing. <laughs> they call me slow when I play Caress into three burning threes. All right, so opponent just plays a tap land. Interesting. Much appreciated, my friend. 
And then I'm just gonna play out this second Flame Blade Adept. I'm not going to. Okay, we need to shit. Fetch another basic. It's gonna. It's difficult. I'm not. I'm not much of a U U Dub guy, to tell you the truth. Look at this guy's vote. Don't be Americans. Don't just not vote. All right, let's ditch. Slot sees my opponent. Civic duty. Civic duty it up. Fans. Gonna take a cost reducer. I kinda just wanna take a ritual to make it so they can't like merc me here. But if I take great I'm just gonna take a ritual. Just so they can't like Well, that's pretty good. But we'll do it next turn. My basics are kinda getting back at me a little bit. Mardu. Dude, that's that's what I'm talking about, man. If you if you can make it happen, Squad Chief. I saw you were streaming Eldrazi Tron. Okay, so opponent didn't do a lot. That's a good one. So but we're still just gonna go like this. No, that was the wrong one. I should have I should have flashed out my faith is looting to keep these cards in my hand. So I bolt this, that's what they drew, okay. So I'm going to describe ritual, 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 grape shot. Wow, that was pretty good for the home team. Okay, so now. Oh, that was so stupid. I'm such an idiot. Just completely zoned out there. Was like, oh, base looting doesn't work like this. That was stupid. That was like, that was an epic pun. Yeah, that was just that was just ridiculous on my part. So what do we got in our graveyard? I mean, it's not it's not a difficult thing to do, right? All right, so we're playing it. We're playing dredge in our next league. So let me go download. Command C, the card hoarder. Log in. Clear. Okay, so they did hit. There. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm actually pretty interested in this deck. Um, import deck. Drop that list. Okay, so my opponent pieces, and they got back. They get back. They put Goblin, Electron Spiral. Put no card. They just like completely whiffed. Holy shit. Now let's find Lightning Bolt. Didn't find Lightning Bolt. Go like this. So my opponent's got either kill me, 
or they've got a grape shot away both of my threats, which they could do. And we're drawing the lightning bolt. Turn two, yeah, turn two thought knots here, man. That'll do it. So my opponent's got storm count. I can't see. I know, I know they've got gifts. Yep, there we go. All right, so I'm going to open up the treasure chest. Then we're going to switch over to the sponsor thing. So let's open up our pity chest. Cavern of Souls, nice. Woo, woo. All right, so let's go. 